So here we have some almonds. I'm gonna put them in this bowl. And you're gonna whirl those up for me, okay? okay. Just grind them up. You want, want to hold on to that, just okay. in case. Get them really, really, really soft. Let's see what they look like. All right, we want something here that is almost like a flour consistency because guess what? There is no flour in this cookie. Oh. It's just the nuts. So you put the ground almonds in a bowl. And then I'm gonna have you add into this bowl some sugar. So there's sugar, put that in, half a cup of sugar. And then we want to add some orange or lemon zest. Do you know how to use one of these? Um, I've seen my father use it, but okay. I've never used one. Well, here, this is what you do, see? You just run the orange across the grate like that, and it just gives you that nice zest. Can you do that? Okay. So why don't you do that? You don't have to do the whole orange. Just do some of it while I get the eggs ready. Because for this recipe, we need only egg whites. Oh. So, here's how I do it. I take that shell off, and I never transfer shell to shell. I just let the white run through my fingers. That way you don't have any contamination. So we need three or two large eggs for this, but I can tell, you know, if you're a baker, you just know sometimes by the size of eggs that maybe you need to add another one. And yes. I know that I need to add another one because these eggs are just really tiny that I got from the grocery store. So normally I would use two egg whites, but today I'm gonna use three because I know that these two egg whites would never be enough. All right, that's looking good. So now you can mix that up with okay. your spoon. And we're going to give that a little bit of almond extract. So a okay. little, oops, just a touch goes in there, a little almond extract. So really mix that well, because now Marianne is going to get her arm exercise. See this bowl? I have to whip these whites because you added baking powder to your cookie, so that's gonna help it rise in the oven. But I'm not using any baking powder or baking soda. I'm using egg whites, and that's what's gonna lighten my batter. And you see how they've changed already? Yes. Because I'm beating air into the whites. And I want these to be stiff enough. They have to be stiff enough that I can get them into that mixture. So what do you think? They don't look quite right yet. So you have to keep going. You see what I'm doing here with the whisk? Have you ever used a whisk? Yes, with my mother, actually. Your mom does this. Do you want to take a turn? Um, okay. Okay, so here's the whisk. Hold the bowl on the side. Tip it, okay, and go round in a circle. That's it, real fast, real fast. Come on, get that baseball arm moving. That's it. You play baseball, don't you? Yes, I Okay, do. well, you should be able to do that. Look at you, you're good. Keep going. That gave me a rest. Beautiful. Okay, I'll finish off now. Should I keep on mixing Keep on this? mixing. Because as soon as this is ready, I'm going to fold that in. We could have done this in a mixer, but I wanted to show you that I had good biceps, too. Okay, that's about right there, Peter. So now, I'm going to take all of this and put it right there. Right in with my nut mixture. That's what's going to lighten this up. Then we do what's called the classic fold, which is going from the bottom. Not oh. rushing this, because if I tried to just, you know, go very quickly, I would deflate this. I would take all the air out of what I just put air into, and I don't want to do that. So can you get me that baking sheet that's behind you? Sure. We're gonna form these cookies on that baking sheet. So that's all there is to this. I'm gonna put one more there in the middle. Now the oven, my oven, is on at 350 degrees. And these are ready to go in. So in they go. And I'm gonna bake mine on the middle rack too. 